afternoon students today we discuss about internal and external economies what are the main internal and external economies Technical economies 
get gets the large films only and the next one is the marketing economies and managerial economies managerial economies means here is the in management side of you organization kind of means large films able to divide the total uh, film several parts and for this several parts they appoint the new technical efficient managers these managers observation is very very important of production activity so these sufficient and capable managers is able to appoint the sufficient and capable persons large teams so the, when the observation is efficient production increases due to get the more profits and this is the managerial economies management is efficient so so the total industry got profits the total investigate profits so means here is the main point is large when the small film became into large film the large film able to divide the several parts the total industry divided into several units for several units these films appointed by the uh, organizer different efficient managers these managers always observe the this total units so production increases due to increase the profits of this film so this is the managerial economies and next to marketing economies marketing economies means here is the one from the large amount of capital large amount of raw materials purchased by the large firms at a time so they get uh, some benefits discounts so that is also one of the main credit for this uh, large firms why because large firms only have financial support so they have capacity to purchase the different type of raw materials at a time high amount of the raw materials so high amount of raw materials at a time he purchase he gets some benefits this is, that is the marketing benefits and these films so exports imports imports at a time large amount of goods so that's why also they get some marketing economies and next one is the financial economies financial support is the important aspect financial economies means large firms are easily getting the credit and easily getting the finance facility from the different finance institutions why because they have surety and different private Uh, banks and private financial institutions and government banks also they favor to give the finance to large firms why because large firms have capacity to repay and they have security so that's why they large firms getting credit easily finance getting easily from the different financial institutions and banks so that's why also one of the main economy for the large scale firms and next one is the economy of welfare welfare is one of the main important means economic welfare means here is the in the large industry the number of thousands of the laborers works in the large scale industry so the management provides some type of benefits free education and free health facilities free housing facilities for the laborers why because large firm able to um, spend some portion of the money for this uh, laborers welfare purpose so the workers also do the work efficiently why because they are getting so many benefits from the large firms they are getting free education free health facilities and uh, some free housing facilities 
so the large film able to provide some type of uh, free facilities welfare facilities for the labors so the labors always do the work efficiently that's why production increases due to they got more profits that is the economic welfare and uh, final one is the risk bearing economies risk bearing economies means uh, for example some laborers or some employees they got unfortunate accidents or any sudden death while they are working in the industries the large big able to provide some financial economical support to their family and uh, additional job opportunities they providing for their family so that is the one of the risk bearing economy why because small firms it is impossible only large firm able to bear the some type of economical burdens if the laborers got any type of accidents or risk or sudden death the large firm able to providing some type of economic support and additional job opportunity for any one their family members all this only possible for large firms only that is the risk bearing economy and next one expenditure on the research and development r and d expenditure on research and development means always basis on the research and development only possible to adopt the new technical tools how to use new technical tools in production activity how to use new new technology how to adopt the new modern techniques in production activity it is possible through the research and development only but it is impossible for the small scale industries large scale industries they are able to spend some portion of the money every year on the research and development through the research and development only only possible to install the latest technology and possible to install the updated methods and possible to install the new modern technicals in production activity so due to increase the production and reduces the cost of production they get more profits research and development investment only possible for the large scale industries and uh, next one is the <coughs> external economies these are totally internally the film got economies internally benefits are known as internal economies first one is the technical economy second one managerial economy third one marketing economy fourth one financial economy and fifth one is the economic welfare the risk bearing economy final one the research and development expenditure on research and development these are the only internally the firms got economies when small scale industry became into a large scale industry okay so this is the internal economies next we discuss about external economy external means outside of the film outside of the film so first one is the economies of concentration means concentration means here is the different type of industries are located in a single area they got some type of benefits that type of benefits are known as external economies means uh, uh, the, uh, technology information electricity and marketing labor supply raw materials capital supply or financial road transport infrastructure these total benefits got with the external economies why because 
different type of pins located in a single area they gain some type of benefits that benefits are known as economy of concentration and next one is the uh, economy of infrastructure facilities means here is the transportation savings here is the for example different type of films for example cotton produced industry cotton produced industry and uh, next sugar sugar produced industry and uh, for for this these total different type of industries are located in a single area transport cost savings and uh, information passes uh, easily one film to another film and next one the road uh, and the electricity all these savings they got and for example in case of joint products for example joint products means uh, in production of sugar sugar we get molasses this molasses we used in uh, medicals medicines to manufacture of medicines so these are the joint product products meat and fur this is also joint product large film able to uh, invest on these uh, joint products if these two two type of industries are located in a single area transport cost same labor charges same electricity and infrastructure marketing all charges also less so that is the external economy so and uh, next one is the information economies information economies means uh, cost of production electricity charges export to import charges and transport charges and labor wages about all these information they easily passes one film to another film if the films are located in a single area that is the information economies and uh, next one is the uh, economies of uh, spe specialization for example different type of industries are located in a single area here is possible to divide the work means different efficient uh, labors are available technical uh, managers are available so here is the labors demand also increases one industry to another industry they easily change from one industry to another industry so their wages rate also increases and uh, different efficient and technical managers also available labors also available different type of uh, raw materials also available if these are the total external economies so and uh, external economies means uh, first one is the economy of concentration and the second one is the economy of uh, specialization and third one is the economy of infrastructure these are the external economies okay and uh, this is the five marks question for in some times and 10 marks point out to also given in some times okay internal and external economies okay students tomorrow we discuss another topic